I truly believe that one day we could probably see girls play on the best teams. A G2! A lifetime of greatness! People were still super rude just because we were not a tier one team. People don't actually understand what female tournaments are for. There is no one else in any of these games like G2. They are legends in their own right. My name is Michaela Lindswap. I'm the IGL for G2 Gozi. When I was 18 years old, I dropped out of school because I started making a living out of my stream and I knew that gaming was what I really wanted. I don't think I ever chose it, it kind of just happened because I was very passionate about gaming and I am very competitive so I naturally found myself into a team. A few months later, I got the chance to actually have my first professional contract. That's when I knew that I, I can actually do this for a living. I think one of the key things that I always had was a lot of passion and motivation. I never really dipped into holes of not playing. I kept on grinding hard and learning. I have always tried to have an open mindset, knowing that I can always improve on something. It takes a lot to be a good player. Like There's a lot of factors. Obviously, you need to have good mechanics, great aim. You need to be outgoing and outspoken and honest. Like There's so many factors to be a good player. Edda, rescue from my team. One thing that she's really good at is being that extroverted personality. Two, she's very open-minded and willing to learn and she has great communication and she will not have an ego. Like she knows she's 16 years old and good. It's so easy to have an ego this way, but egos will always destroy teams and opportunities. Just staying humble, willing to learn and passionate is gonna make you the best. Um, so let's take last tournament as an example, right? So we are going into the last game of groups and we lose it. We lose it 2 0, but the first, uh, the last map, we get smacked. Like we get 13 1. Like it was embarrassing. When these things happen, I don't like to go in and read the comments about it because I think it's very unnecessary. Sometimes it is impossible to avoid. Like let's say I would stream the next day and people would just write it in the chat. But normally you would have like a manager, you will have a coach, you can have an analyst and you have this whole organization behind you helping you to just focus on these small things that you have to focus on. If you are struggling with mental health, your organization will always be there to back you up and help you, giving you the tools that you need. Um, but I'm also the kind of player who, who get fueled by it. I will never make the same mistake twice and I will always go back and rewatch the games that we lost. The toxicity was actually way worse back in the day. In Valorant, it's a completely different environment and community, I would say. It's way more respected, accepted as well. People also don't actually understand what female tournaments are for. It's not like the female tournament prize money is being taken from somewhere else. It's the sponsors that are actually supporting this very thing. MasterCard is a big sponsor for Game Changers and uh, in Riot and all the female things they're doing there. Many times that is also what I have had to remind people of. Like there is no reason to, to yell at this female team. It's not their fault that there is a tournament to play. First of all, what I always like to do, I always interact in the agent select because I don't want any surprises. I don't want them to be like, yo, I'm playing with a girl. I don't want to do that. Second thing, mute, mute the toxic people. Wait five minutes after, change your server, queue up with friends. I think those are the best things to do to prevent things happening. I think it's definitely the future. It's just about trying to equalize as much as possible in terms of the amount of men and the amount of women playing. Many of them will just be just as good as, as the men because they have had the same chances of practice and having coaches and having managers and having all this professionalism behind them. That is what I truly want. I would love to have been able to IGL these crack little gamers and now they're playing on the tier one team. It's possible. They just have to 
you know, keep going. I have accepted that it might not be me because I'm 26, but I'm doing everything in my power to make sure that it's one of them to do it. Thank you.